EBM Pops makes fans for air systems. The German company is one of the world's leading producers. But pirated versions of its fans are eating into its market share. Here, the latest copy of an EBM Pops fan has just arrived from China. Almost all of the company's smaller products are pirated there. And EBM PASP's own developers often have a hard time telling the fakes from the originals. The Chinese copies are sold worldwide and cost the company tens of millions of euros. In our case, we're talking about 150 to 200 million euros, and that's an awful lot. Even our European customers are tending to look towards Asian suppliers, and that costs us a lot of sales. Und das wird uns natürlich auch äh, am Umsatz fehlen. EBM Pabst invests 90 million euros a year in research and development, a cost the pirates don't have, so they can easily undercut the German company. EBM Pabst designs newer and quieter versions in its own research laboratory. The company can only hold its own by maintaining a technological lead. When we when we look at the fakes that are sent into us, we can see we've got around five years head start. We've got to hold on to that lead or improve it, because our sales are being cannibalized by pirates and our competitors. Fraudsters in Asia don't limit themselves to machine parts either. They also pirate entire copies of Germany's best sellers. The latest is a copy of the Porsche Macan which is normally made in Leipzig. Stefan Zimmermann of German Engineering Association VDMA has just come across the Chinese-made Macan imitation on the YouTube video platform. This particular Chinese manufacturer is well known in the sector. The Porsche Macan highlights how important design is for imitations. But that's something we already know. What's becoming far more important and difficult is that there are an increasing number of copies deeper down in the machine. Software, which is the heart of the machine, is being copied. EBM Pabst employs agents all over the world who track down pirates and take them to court. The head of design has already brought several successful lawsuits in China. But they only resulted in 10,000 euro fines for the fraudsters.